Hey guys, today I wanted to give you a quick review of the LG 40WP95CW. It's a 40 inch curved ultra wide 5K. So it's 5120 by 2160. It's a pretty awesome display. It has 140 PPI nano IPS panel, which is essentially the same as a 32 inch 4K display, but 33% wider on the sides. So what's, what's cool about that is you have a 21 by nine aspect ratio, which is great for viewing film, since you won't see black bars on the top and the bottom of the screen, like you do with regular 16 by nine displays. This display is a true 10 bit panel and it's factory calibrated. It covers 135% of the RGB color space and an awesome 98% of the DCI-P3 color space, which is great for us creators where accuracy is key for color critical work. This display is definitely not recommended for gaming um, since the pixel response time is only five milliseconds and it has a refresh rate of only 72 hertz. I did give it a go and I guess for non-competitive titles it can work fine since it does have AMD FreeSync. One big thing to note about this display is that even though it features HDR10, it only has about 300 nits of brightness, which for a bright room will not be enough, but in a dark studio environment, like where I've set mine up, it's perfectly fine. And after calibration in my dark studio, my brightness was set to about 70%, so that gives you a good idea a lot of my other displays, um, after I would calibrate it, sometimes it'd be as low as 30% 30 per, uh, 30 of the brightness. In terms of ports, you get Thunderbolt 4 with power delivery up to 96 watts, which is perfect for those of you with MacBook Pros. And speaking of power, there is no power brick, which in my opinion is pretty awesome. I just despise power bricks and it's always great when you can plug straight in. And you also get DisplayPort 1.4, HDMI, USB ports on the side. It does come with two 10 watt speakers, but I never ever use built in speakers on a monitor unless Apple designed it. And speaking of Apple, the cool thing about this monitor is you actually get a stand included with the monitor that doesn't cost you extra. It has tilt, height, and swivel adjustment all included within that $17.99 price tag. So thank you so much, LG. The display without the stand weighs about 22 and a half pounds, so it worked great with my vase amount, just fine um, on my monitor arm here which is definitely my preference for such a large screen. And what I like about putting it on a monitor arm like this on my standing desk is I can easily slide stuff underneath it when I'm not using it. So what do I think about this ginormously huge display? Well, coming from the 38WN95C by LG, I'm getting more PPI at 140 compared to 109 on the 38 inch. The PPI is still less than what Apple would define as retina since it is 140 and the LG 5K and the new studio display that's at 218 PPI. Sharpness and clarity may not be as good but I think for creative work I actually prefer this larger canvas as opposed to this kind of scrunched up 27 inch with all these pixels <laughs> kind of crammed in together in a smaller square. <laughs> it looks really nice kind of paired next to my old school Apple Cinema display that's 30 inches. It pairs a lot better with that um, than my 38 inch ultra wide which I had. And so it's kind of nice to have this and then that display kind of side by side. It creates quite a nice canvas, but 
just alone by itself, this display is plenty huge for someone that just looks for one monitor to do it all. Honestly, there is no other screen like this currently since it has that 4K horizontal resolution. And for me, the lower brightness is not really an issue. I usually don't have my displays in torch mode, so for me, this is a complete non-issue. In terms of its curve, it has a very subtle curve to it. It's not overly curvy like a lot of gaming monitors. It's just enough for a screen this wide. And so I, I definitely feel like it's more geared towards graphic designers, photographers, videographers, people that do a lot of creative work where you don't need this huge wraparound display. So I think, I think the curve is really nice. The one drawback I think in this display though is the resolution scaling on a Mac. It is a little, it's a little unwieldy with the resolution scaling. And so you'll run the full 5K resolution on it, but you're also trying to figure out the best kind of zoom in on it because if you do the full resolution on a Mac, everything is super tiny and you really, you almost need to like get super magnified reading glasses to see the text on it. Um, and then the next level down that actually doesn't make it terrible, um, works really well. So I think for me, that next resolution down, I don't remember what it is, it's like 3360 or something, um, is actually not too bad. This display is a much better value than the Apple Studio display for what you get. Um, all in with Apple, if you get the tilt height adjustment, you're looking at $2,000 for their premium display. And so you're actually gonna spend less buying this and it includes the stand and everything and you get a lot more real estate I guess the other thing to think about is you literally cannot buy the Apple Studio display right now. It's out of stock everywhere unless you get on eBay and you're willing to pay just a stupid amount of money to get an Apple Studio display right now. So instead of buying the Apple Studio display for way too much money, just get this. It's in stock right now. You can get it on Amazon. Um, give it a try. If you don't like it, you can, you can return it. So stop, stop looking at the studio display on eBay and just get this. It's, it's, a, it's a really awesome display. One thing I really like about this display too is you can actually daisy chain it. So this display works really well with something like a Mac Studio because you can plug one of the Thunderbolt cables into the back and then you can turn on the daisy chain in the menu here and then plug in like an LG 5K to the back of this, which means you're only using one Thunderbolt port on this and you're able to utilize a whole bunch of pixels using just one cable, which is pretty fantastic in my opinion. The fact that you can plug in another Thunderbolt display in the back of this and use those together into, into one machine like a Mac Studio is quite amazing. The other thing to also note and think about is compared to an Apple Studio display, you know, looking at it here, this is an LG 5K, but the, the Studio display is the exact same size in terms of the screen size. It is, this display is much larger as you can see. So overall, I highly recommend looking into this before you look into the St Apple Studio display or any other really expensive monitor. If you're gonna spend already about $2,000 or a little bit less than that, really consider checking this out. Um, the color accuracy is great. The pixel density is great. So for text and clarity, it's really top notch. I can't say enough about it. I think, I think for most of you coming from lesser monitors, coming from a 1440p monitor or another ultra wide that has less pixel resolution, like 109 pixels per inch. When you bump up to 140, I think that's enough, honestly, at, at a, a screen size this big. It's pushing enough pixels, it's cramming enough detail in there, and you're gonna really appreciate the, the amount of detail that you get when you work on this display. Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me for a brief moment to check out the LG40 WP95CW. 
If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps me get my content out faster. Hit the thumbs up if you liked today's video and ring the bell to get notified when I drop a new video. I will see you guys on my next one.